This series of videos will cover all of the features in Contact. The first parts will cover the Contact window. The Contact window consists of the main control panel, the browser, the rack, the output section, the info pane, and the status bar. The status bar is at the very bottom of the contact window and displays messages from running scripts and the database loading progress. At the very top of the contact window is the main control panel. The first six buttons are toggle buttons, which choose which parts of the interface should be visible. The browse button shows or hides the browser, and this is the only button which will shrink the contact window size. The master button shows or hides the master editor. The info button shows or hides the info pane, which is at the bottom of the contact window. It displays information about the currently selected file or interface element your, your mouse is pointing on. The output button shows or hides the output section. The keyboard shows or hides the virtual on-screen keyboard. It allows you to generate note or controller events. And also indicates where zones or key switches of the currently selected instruments are placed. The quick load button shows or hides the quick load menu. We will take a deeper look at the browser, master editor, the output section and the quick load menu later on in this series. For now, let's take a look at the files button. The files button allows you to access the file drop-down menu. New instrument allows you to add a new instrument to the multi. New instrument bank allows you to add an empty instrument bank. Load allows you to load an instrument multi or bank. Load recent displays a list of recently opened files and allows you to load them. New instrument from list allows you to access your quick load instruments. New instrument bank from list allows you to access your quick load instrument banks. Save as allows you to save your instrument. When you click on save as, the save instrument dialog appears. This has your typical file save options such as the file name and the location. The contact specific options are patch only. With patch only, the samples will, will remain in their original locations and the file references are kept as is. So if you move an instrument, it can break. Absolute sample pass. When you choose this option, sample files will be referenced with absolute pass. So if you move an instrument, it, it won't break. Also, if you have sample files that are in a folder that will always move with the instrument, you can use relative by disabling absolute sample paths. The other option is patch plus samples. This saves the instrument and copies the samples to a new location. It also changes the file references. And by default, samples will be saved in a samples folder. You can specify a different sample location by clicking the, the button with the three dots. The last option is monolith. This option combines instrument and samples into a single large file. If you choose patch plus samples or monolith, you have the option to use a compress samples function. What this does, it saves samples in a proprietary lossless compressed format that offers a 30 to 50 percent compression rate. Compressed samples will, will also improve access performance when streaming from disk and will also reduce memory because contact decompresses samples on the fly from memory with zero to little CPU overhead. The only downside is that you can't use external wave editors to access the samples. Save multi as. It has, the same, it has the same options as save as, except it saves as a multi and it also saves the output routing. Save as default instrument. This saves the selected instrument as a default so that whenever you create a new instrument, contact will use this instrument as a template. 
As you can see, it is only available when editing an instrument. Save as default multi. This saves a multi as a default that Contact will load on startup or whenever you choose reset multi. Reset multi restores the default multi that is loaded at startup. It also removes all instruments. Batch resave automates locating missing samples and resaving instruments. To use it, first choose a folder. Then choose any instrument, multis, or banks. In this case, I'm just going to choose all of them. Any subfolders will automatically be scanned for missing samples. If any are found, the samples missing dialog will appear, allowing you to specify which places should be searched to resolve these references. In the samples missing dialog, you have the option to resolve the missing files automatically or manually. If you choose automatically, it can take a long time to search. I'm going to choose manually. This will allow me to point to a specific directory that Contact will only choose, only search this directory. It'll make finding samples a lot faster. So as you can see, Contact found all the samples and resave the instrument. Now if I come and load any of the instruments, voila, they load. Collect samples, batch compress. This allows you to compile samples, instruments, instrument banks, and multis into a single location. You can also compress or decompress samples. To use it, select your source. and select your destination. Then choose mirror or collect samples. Mirror keeps the folder structure of the source, so no instruments or collected samples some subfolders will be created. Note that when you batch compress, if there's an instrument that references a sample outside the source folder, a collected sample subfolder will be generated in the destination, and that sample will be saved there. The other option is collect samples. The folder structure of the destination will be different than a source. Instruments will be saved in an instruments folder, and samples will be saved in a collected samples folder. I'm going to choose collect samples option. And finally, select your destination sample format. Select lossless to convert uncompressed samples to lossless compressed NCW files, or select uncompressed to convert lossless compressed NCW files back to uncompressed WAV or AIF files. And finally, the last option in the Files drop-down menu is the Help. This allows you to launch the Service Center, open up the manuals, visit contact on the web, visit the knowledge base, or show the About Contact page. The Options button displays the option dialog for Global Program Preferences. The first tab is the Interface tab, and it contains the following options. If the interface becomes too large and you can't access the resize handle on the bottom right, which you see here, you can click the Reset Size button to reset the contact window to its default size. Show mapping and key switches on keyboard. If enabled, the virtual on-screen keyboard will highlight keys that trigger zones or key switches. By default, zones are blue and key switches are red. Just note that libraries can have different colors. Auto-refresh browser when enabled, 
the browser will periodically check for changes. Font size. This drop down lets you choose between two interface font size. Large increases legibility but takes up more screen space. Just note you must restart contact for this change to take effect. Language. Hints are displayed in the info pane help area in English, German, French, Spanish, or Japanese. Select the language you want to use from the drop down list. If you, if you select automatic, contact will use your OS language settings. Suppress drawing of unselected groups in mapping editor. When enabled, this will prevent contact from drawing unselected groups in the mapping editor. Now let's move on to the engine tab. Default volume. This will be used as a default output volume for new and imported instruments. Also the value which the output volume slider will snap to when you control or command click on it. CPU overload protection. This allows you to kill voices to avoid engine choking when you have high voice counts. This setting affects how cautious contact is. For example, relax will not start killing voices until the CPU is very close to overloading. It's recommended to keep this disabled for systems with, with quad-core CPUs. Multiprocessor support. This enables the use of multiple CPUs or dual-core processors. It is recommended to be enabled in a standalone mode. When contact is being used as a plugin, it depends on the software and hardware combination. You'll have to try the different settings with your current setup to see which setting works best for you. Please note that these settings are saved independently, so be sure that you save the right option for standalone mode and for plugin mode. Send MIDI to outside world. This allows you to choose what MIDI events will be sent to the contact MIDI ports. GUI keyboard. This allows you to send MIDI events when you click on the virtual on-screen keyboard. Script generated CCs allows you to send MIDI controller events from running scripts. Script generated notes allow you to send note events from running scripts. Incoming CCs creates a loopback that will mirror incoming MIDI controller events at the MIDI output. Incoming notes will create a loopback that will mirror incoming MIDI note events at the MIDI output. Offline interpolation quality. This allows you to specify an HQI interpolation quality setting to be used during offline bouncing or freezing that's different from the one specified in the source module of the instrument. For example, during arrangement, you can set the interpolation to standard to have a lower quality, and you can change it to perfect during mixdown. This will allow the interpolation to have the highest quality. The default is to use like real time, and this option will use the source module setting which is in the instrument. The handling tab. Use computer keyboard for MIDI playback. This allows you to use your computer keyboard to trigger notes. The QWERTY, the QWERTY row of letters will play the middle octave. Keyboard velocity. This adjusts the velocity of notes triggered by the computer keyboard. Solo mode. This determines what contact will do when you attempt to activate the solo button on more than one instrument. In place will allow you to solo one instrument at a time. Latch will allow you to solo more than one instrument at a time. Browser double click loads an instrument. If enabled, will allow you to, to add instruments from the browser by double clicking. Browser show files before folders 
will determine the order in which files and folders will be listed in the lower pane of the browser. The default root key for new zones. When you create zones out of samples that do not have key info, the root key of the zone will be what's specified here. MIDI channel. This dropdown lets you switch between channel assignment modes. Assign first free is the default, and this will assign the lowest available MIDI port that hasn't been used yet. Assign to Omni will assign to Omni, which is all ports. Keep, channel, keep channels from K1 patches. This will allow you to use the MIDI channel that's stored in contact version 1 patches. Enable undo. This enables undo. Just note that enable and undo may slow down the GUI response when using large instruments on slower machines. External Wave Editor. This lets you specify your preferred sample editor. When you click on External Editor in the Wave Editor, the editor you specify here will start with the current sample. Contact will pick up changes when you save the sample in that editor. So that's it for today. We'll finish the options dialog in the next video. Now go make some music.